Hello everyone. In the previous video, we had seen how metals and non-metals are important to us. This makes it important for us to know what metals and non-metals are exactly. So, we can do this by studying the various different physical properties which are shown by metals and non-metals. Now, what are physical properties? Physical properties are those which can be observed without any change in chemical composition. We can do this by drawing a simple chart with different properties and a comparative chart between metals and non-metals. The first property which we will be discussing is on the basis of how metals and non-metals appear to us. Metals are generally shining, that is they show the luster property. All the metals have a luster property but it varies from metals to metals. For example, if we see gold and silver, they have high luster. But when we talk of iron, copper, aluminium, zinc, we see they are not as lustrous as gold and silver. That is the reason gold is used in making jewelries, whereas silver is used in making mirrors. Silver is a good reflector, whereas gold is less reactive to air and does not lose its luster easily, so it is used in making jewelries. On the other hand, when we look on non-metals like coal, which is a form of carbon and sulfur, they have a dull appearance. So, they are non-lustrous. This brings us to a conclusion that metals are lustrous in their pure state, whereas non-metals are non-lustrous. They do not possess their own shine. Now, we can go on to the next property, which is hardness. Metals are generally hard and their hardness varies from metals to metals. Suppose we take few pieces of iron, aluminium, copper and zinc and try to cut them with knife. Will you be able to cut them? No, we are not able to cut them very easily but different forces are required to cut them. In a similar way, if we take non-metals like coal and sulphur. Try to cut them. You will see that they have broken into pieces. What we can conclude from the above activity is metals are generally hard and their hardness varies from metals to metals whereas non-metals can be solid, liquid or gases. Since we have seen metals are hard when we hit them on a solid surface, we hear a loud shilling sound. This sound producing property is called as sonorous property. This is not shown by non-metals. That is the reason why we use metals in making musical instruments and ringing bells. As we have seen in the previous videos that metals are also used in electric wires. Now there are two reasons why we use metals, specifically copper, in making electric wires. Firstly, metals are ductiles. That is, they can be beaten into thin wires. And secondly, they are good conductors of electricity. That is, they allow flow of electricity through it. Gold is the most ductile, whereas silver is the best conductor of electricity. But we rarely use silver because it's little expensive. In place of that, we use copper and aluminium. The decreasing order of electrical conductivity is shown where silver is the most conductive and mercury is the least conductive. The another important property which are shown by the metals is that they can be beaten into thin sheets. Now this property is called as malleability. Malleability is only shown by metals and not by non-metals because we all know non-metals are brittle in nature. Gold and silver are the most malleable. Silver is used in many decorative purpose of food articles in the form of films, whereas aluminium foils are used in wrapping of food articles, chocolates and also medicines. Metals are also good conductors of heat and possesses high melting point and boiling point. On the basis of physical properties which we have studied till now, we can now answer few questions like why copper wires have plastic coverings and Utensils are made up of metals, but their handles are made up of non-metals. 
Now since we have seen all the metals and non-metals have some physical properties and they follow their physical properties strictly, there are some rule breakers. Nature provides exception to every rule and we do have exceptions. As we have discussed earlier, metals are generally hard at room temperature. But mercury is liquid at room temperature. Also, we can see that alkali metals such as sodium, potassium and lithium can easily be cut through knife. We have also seen that metals have high melting points. Gallium and cesium have so low melting points that they can even melt on your palms. Iodine which is a non-metal but is lustrous. Carbon which is also a non-metal have two allotropes, diamond and graphite. They have high melting and boiling points where diamond specifically is the hardest substance known and graphite is a good conductor of electricity and is used in making electrodes. Since we have seen the difference between metals and non-metals on their basis of physical properties, now we can see the difference between metals and non-metals on the basis of their chemical properties. 